Hello friends, welcome back to Yoga with Paige, and welcome to our fun beachside yoga flow. Sitting in a comfortable position, just connecting to the breath. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. On your next breath, release the right hand to the mat, left comes overhead, side body stretch. Exhale to switch, flowing from one side to the other, just moving with the breath. One more, evening out both sides. before taking the hands behind the back, interlacing, opening up through the chest, pulling the hands down, spreading through the collarbones, lifting the gaze. Exhale to release the hands, letting them come in front, rounding through the back. Inhale, bringing them behind you. Exhale to round, a seated cat-cow, but taking the arms with you, exaggerating the movements. One more. And a release, coming onto all fours. Taking a cat-cow once we find our positioning here. Moving with the breath once again, rounding on the exhales, dropping the belly on the inhales. Pressing away from the mat, creating space, length in the spine. Maybe finding some spinal rolls. If that feels good, getting a little funky with it, a little non-traditional. Making sure we feel nice and even before finding our neutral spine and sitting back on the heels. Inhale, lift the hands and the hips. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, take the hands to the bum, finding a slight back bend. Exhale to release, finding tabletop, rounding through the back, and inhale, drop the belly. Walking the hands out, melting the chest down, puppy pose. Taking a moment here, being one with the mat. And then releasing down into sphinx pose, lifting the chest. Bending the right leg, straightening the left arm and gazing back at the foot. Releasing to switch sides, taking this little half bow variation. Exhale to release. Pressing up, sending the hips back, tucking the toes to this child's pose variation. Finding little sways here, opening up through the back, maybe steepling the fingers. Then lifting the hips, finding our downward facing dog gazing at the hands, gently making our way to the front of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise, hands come above the head, palms come together, heart center. Inhale, above the head, and exhale, flat back, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step that left foot back, coming into a low lunge, release the hands up high. Interlace the fingers, pointer finger out, taking a slight back bend, moving slow. Releasing the hands to find the mat, dropping the head if that feels good. Maybe taking that back foot up, trying to touch the head. Coming forward into half split, straightening the right leg. Exhale and inhale, low lunge and half splits, opening up through the hip flexor. Lifting that back knee and stepping up to the front of the mat, taking the arms behind us, flat back. Inhale to reach forward and exhale to send the arms back. 
One more breath like this and forward fold. Inhale to rise. Exhale, heart center. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, dive. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step that right leg back, low lunge. Sweep the arms up and take a little back bend. Noticing how this side feels in comparison. Only going as far as feels good. Maybe the hands come down to the mat. Maybe the foot lifts. Honoring our body. Slowly coming into our runner's half splits. <laughs> Moving with the breath, opening up through the hips, creating expansion. One more. And then picking up the back knee. Rocking forward, turning both toes out to the, to the sides and lowering down for Malasana. Sending the pelvis down into the mat, opening up through the groins. Taking the left arm over the head. Maybe finding a bind here behind the legs, further opening through the chest. Releasing, straightening the legs, sending the hips up. And coming back down into a squat, releasing up and squat. One more time, up and squat. Taking the right arm above the head. Then maybe deepening with our bind. Holding here. And gently releasing, coming full circle, straightening the legs. And rolling up to standing very slow, ending with the head in mountain pose at the front of the mat. Taking the right knee into the chest, hugging it in. And then releasing it, opening the hips, coming into tree pose, finding our balance, raising the arms above the head nice and strong taking up space, making the arms round and big, spreading through the fingers. We're here and we're strong, confident. Then grabbing onto the big toe with the right arm, extending the leg out to the side. Maybe taking our gaze over to the foot. Crossing the leg in front, switching hands, revolving, taking our gaze behind us if that's possible. Finding our focus point. And then bending that knee, crossing it over the left knee, coming into half chair pose, sinking into the outer glutes, giving them some love. And exhale, standing up, taking that knee back into the chest and with control, sending it back into warrior three. Taking our time, finding our chest parallel to the mat, then bending that front knee and coming into a Shiva squat, tapping the back ankle one more time and sending it out straight. Knee up into the chest, and exhale to release, shake out the legs a little bit. I know you want to. <laughs> and other side, taking the left knee into the chest. Opening for tree. Inhale, reach up. Hips are square. We're squeezing through the glutes, sending that left knee out to the side. Big, deep breaths. And extending that left leg out to the side whenever we're ready. 
moving with care and control. If we fall out, that's okay. We get right back up, just like in life. And taking the leg in front, switching hands, maybe taking our gaze behind us, noticing where we're at today, the balance in our physical body, or the balance in our mental clarity, where our thoughts tend to go. And crossing it in front, coming into half chair, sinking into the hips. Grounding through all four corners of that right foot. Preparing for your warrior three, lifting up and sending that left leg back nice and strong. You got this. We're challenging ourselves now, Shiva squat and back out, warrior three. One more tap. And back out, nice and strong. Knee into the chest. And exhale, release. Shake them out, shake them out. Inhale, hands above the head. Exhale, fold. We find a gentle seat behind us. Extending the left leg, right sole of the foot is on the mat. Hamstring stretch. Inhale. And exhale to release, coming onto the forearms, crossing it on top of the right knee and sending the pelvis up. We're not going to be straight here since we're not on our hands. We're just getting a nice hip opener. Squeezing through the glutes, using the core, and release. Taking the legs into the chest for a little counter stretch. And release, switching sides. Sending the right leg up straight, stretching out the hamstring, trying to pull the shin to the forehead. And then exhale to release, coming down onto the forearms, crossing it over the left knee. Sending the pelvis up, maybe dropping the head back if that feels good. Using our strength to help us stretch and lowering the hips, pulling the legs into the chest. Exhale, straightening both of the legs, sending them up, 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 and releasing them down to the mat, dropping the head back, fish pose. We can take the hands underneath the bum, or we can just rest here, opening through the throat. Taking one more deep breath here before gently raising the head, bending the knees, coming up into bound angles, soles of the feet together, sitting up nice and tall and finding little hip circles. Gentle movements to end our practice. Once we feel evened out here, we can reach the fingertips forward and lift up the chest, coming into fire log pose, crossing the right leg over the left, or we can place it in front or cow face pose, whatever variation suits you today. Just leaning forward, stretching out the outer hip, taking a nice forward fold as our last movement, switching sides, And we can gently lift the chest, come into a comfortable seated position. Taking a few more breaths together. I thank you for practicing with me today. I hope you enjoyed this class. Give this video a thumbs up if you did. 
Let me know your thoughts down below. I cannot wait to practice with you again, my friends. Have a great rest of your day. Namaste.